You may have noticed something new along the Star City skyline. A massive crane is being constructed in South Roanoke to help build Carilion Clinic's latest expansion. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains what the new building will mean for the community. Rising in the Star City skyline is this red tower crane. At 240 feet tall, it'll be critical for the construction of Carilion Clinic's new Crystal Spring Tower, an expansion of Roanoke Memorial Hospital with 64 new cardiovascular patient rooms, a parking garage, and relocated and expanded ER. This day today really signifies the start of the tower. The crane will be the second tallest structure in Southwest Virginia besides the Wells Fargo building. So tall, crews needed another crane to build it. Having a stationary tower crane that can maneuver around the job site without actually having to move allows us to continue that construction on this tight site, as well as keep the hospital operational around the job site. At $400 million and 500,000 square feet, Carilion Clinic's VP of Facilities and Construction, Marty Masico, says the expansion will better serve the community. The need brought to the forefront during the pandemic. But it made us rethink the size of our hospital and what we have for the community and beds that are available. And this is certainly going to help with that. A project this size comes with a few challenges. Architects had to design the building in a tight space on a hill and work around existing utilities. Plus, the height of the crane means helicopters transporting patients have to be extra careful. You really got to think about helicopter safety, which was uh, a lot of coordination with Carillion's uh, safety department. Lane closures on McClanahan and Jefferson Street will last a few more months. The finished expansion should open in January of 2025. It's reality. It's happening. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.